Okay, it's been a while since I reviewed any netbooks because we've been waiting for some new models to come out, but I finally got my hands on a couple of new ones. I have on the right the uh, ASUS 1025C. It's an EPC model, and the on the left the EPC 1011CX. Uh, both of these two models are based on Intel's brand new Cedar Trail platform, which means they come with N2600 processors. They are dual core processors running at 1.6 gigahertz. And they also have accelerated GMA3600 graphics, which is something that's new for the netbook platform, actually having accelerated graphics chip in the device. Now, just for comparison's sake, I brought with me our old favorite, the 1011PX. It is based on last year's, of course, platform with the N570 processor. Still dual core at 1.6 gigahertz, but not quite as snappy as the N2600s, and of course, no uh, accelerated graphics. And we'll take a look at the performance differences in a few minutes. But first, let's take a look at these two models. I want to look at the 1025C first. It's a brand new design for ASUS. Uh, they call it the flare design. If you take a look at it, it is very attractive. It has kind of the semi-metallic finish to it. It is a matte finish, which is great, so no uh, fingerprints, or not quite the fingerprint magnet at least, that your typical glossy uh, netbook is. Uh, we also have a fairly thin design. You look, it's very narrow, and it's got some nice design features like this uh, chrome feature on the side. A lot of things on this one have been done, I think, to, to stave off some of that tablet envy. It's a very nice device to have. And let's take a look at the uh, ports on it. Of course, we have our typical SD slot. We have a microphone headphone combo port, USB but times two, also a Kensington uh, lock slot, and we have a Ethernet port here with this nice little design feature that keeps the line smooth for ASUS. Uh, on the left, we have uh, power, of course, VGA out, another USB slot, and something that's new for the platform, and that's the uh, HDMI out. Uh, HDMI is great to hook up to a flat screen if you want to do a presentation in a pinch or you don't have access to a projector. It's a great feature to have. Uh, on the inside, of course, we have ASUS's fantastic uh, chiclet keyboard, which is great. They've done a nice design feature here. They've got a brushed feature uh, around the trim here, so it's no longer the glossy black, which is also nice, so you don't pick up all the fingerprints. And we've got the typical unified uh, button here at the bottom. So, again, very nice design, excellent machine. Uh, this one comes with one gig of RAM and goes for about $299. So let's take a look now at the 1011 CX on the left here, and you may notice that this one looks kind of like last year's model. A lot of folks have said about this one, it's this year's hardware in last year's case, and that is true. So you might ask yourself, well, why would ASUS come out with this model? Well, the idea is to keep the cost down and make it available for integrators and the education market. Um, this model is orderable, fantastically enough, without Windows on it. So if you're going to put Linux on your netbook, uh, you don't have to pay that extra Windows tax, which is great. It also costs 20 bucks less than the 1025C. And there's a bonus, it comes with an extra gig of RAM. So this model comes with 2 gig of RAM instead of just 1 gig of RAM for 20 bucks less. Now, unfortunately, it's not all roses and candy with this model um, because the battery is about 20% smaller or so than the 1025C, which means you're going to get about six hours of realistic battery life on this one versus close to eight hours on the 1025. So uh, there are definitely some trade-offs there that are worthy of consideration, but the 1011CX is a fantastic machine. They did not skimp on the inside. You've got, they've still got the great chiclet keyboard, of course, the unified button here. You unfortunately have the glossy fingerprint magnet around the outside edge here, but that's kind of a minor thing. Um, overall, they are basically the same machine, the same ports, everything on the inside is pretty much the same. Um, just a little bit less battery life on this one, but double the RAM. So definitely worth uh, taking a look at. So let's take a look at the difference in performance here. I'm going to pull up the uh, 1011PX here, and we'll open her up, and then we'll take a look at the graphics differences. So one of my favorites, uh, favorite demos to run on these, just to show the performance of the graphics, of course, is taking a look at Celestia. It's a nice little test of the uh, performance of the processor as well as the graphics coprocessor, so we'll get a nice feel for what these two can do. Um, one thing I have noticed on the older models is that the screens are a bit dimmer versus the uh, Cedar Trail models. You notice the Cedar Trail is a bit brighter, and that's kind of a nice thing uh, to see on the Cedar Trails as well. Um, so here we are at the Earth. Uh, this is uh, where we usually start, and it's not real exciting to look at, so let's take a look at the Hubble Space Telescope instead, and then we'll scroll around that uh, in a second. So. Let's go to Hubble over here. All right, and once we fly to the telescope, we get a nice view of it. You can see it's already up here on the left on the older model, and as I scroll around it, I'm actually trying to move around it, and you'll see it's kind of like a slideshow. It's finally moving for me, but not real great, versus on the right here, 
If I scroll around it, it scrolls around very quickly. So that gives you a good feel for the difference of the performance of the graphics processors. You know, it's nothing like an ATI or an NVIDIA processor, but it's plenty fast enough. A uh, nice performance improvement overall. And you'll see that throughout the, uh, the use of the machine. It just feels a little bit snappier. So there you have it. This is the new uh, Cedar Trail models, uh, the 1025C here, and of course, the 1011CX back here. Uh, nice netbooks, definitely recommend them for use with Linux especially, and take a look at uh, using the Ubermix on them. I think you'll be really happy with them.